Hello, how you doing? My name is Inspector Livingstone with the Department of Buildings, Elevator Units. My unit is in charge of the transportation of people. We are responsible for ensuring the safety of elevators, escalators, wheelchair lifts, amusement rides, and so on. I'm here to share with you your rights as a New York City resident. Most buildings in New York City are five stories or higher, which requires a working, safe elevator. If your elevator is not working in your building, contact your landlord or management agency, and you also have the right to call 311 to address your complaints. If work is required on your elevator, the landlord or management agency is required to post a notice 10 days prior to the work start and end. And work must continue until the elevator is safe. Safety violations that are found, an ECB summons is written immediately and must be corrected. If this issue is not corrected, a criminal summons will be written to the owner. If you have any concern of your elevator, please contact 311 and your concerns will be met. After your 311 complaint is made, an elevator inspector is dispatched to the location to verify the situation. If the elevator is out of service, a violation is written against the property to restore to service. The violation is, is filed against the owner. An inspector will return in 10 days to verify if the unit is back in service. If not, another violation is written to that property owner and becomes a reoccurring condition. If your elevator is out of service for a long period of time, you may contact the DOB for help. What do you do if you are stuck in an elevator? Ring, relax, and wait. You are safer in the cab. Elevators will not just fall. There are safety mechanisms that will keep you in place. Once again, you are safer in the cab. Also, there's a call button that you can push so you can get help. You will speak to a live operator and a mechanic will be dispatched to that location to rescue you. At no time, you should be trying to rescue yourself. Usually, within about 10 minutes, these situations should be corrected. Once again, I repeat, at no time should you try to rescue yourself. Please just relax and help is on the way. With over 90,000 elevators in New York City, they're a part of life. We hope this information helps to keep you safe. If you have any questions of inspections or permits, please visit our website.